Hi, I'm Aleka and welcome to my get together. Today's recipe is going to be a delicious buttery caramel popcorn recipe that's perfect for the holidays. Whether you're hosting a party and you want to set it out all over the house for people to snack on or give as delicious holiday gifts. Either way, it is a delicious recipe and it's perfect this time of year. Let's get started. Before I dig in, I wanted to share a five-star review comment from my blog that a reader uh, wrote recently. Uh, she said, I love this recipe, no corn syrup. It's easy to make and my family loves it, especially on holiday winter break. Like I said, it's perfect this time of year, but of course you can make it year round if you feel like. It reminds me of that fancy gourmet popcorn that you can get in stores in those big metal tins but it's so expensive that popcorn and it's not always the healthiest because it uses corn syrup this recipe is made without corn syrup because i think the stuff is nasty and any opportunity to make something without this i jump on it this recipe is the most tested recipe that i have on my blog by far because caramel is the devil now it's very tricky to work with it is super temperamental it burns easily and getting that perfect consistency and temperature is very very tricky but I have a method that works if you just make sure you follow the direction okay so first we're going to need to make our popcorn we're going to use homemade popcorn because it's a, a, a plain canvas there's nothing on it there's no salt butter nothing and it's very easy to make just make sure you have a heavy bottom pot a lid and if you don't have a lid you can use tin foil and poke holes in it popcorn kernels and oil okay you can also use butter we're gonna use about two to three tablespoons let's make our popcorn first we're gonna set our heat to medium medium high add our oil and our kernels Give it a little bit of a shake so that all the kernels are nicely coated in the fat. Let's cover it up. It should take a couple minutes to start popping and once it starts popping, it should take another couple minutes to fully pop. Don't go anywhere. We do not want it to burn. Starting to pop. Once it starts, it should take one to two minutes, no more than that, to fully pop. I love that sound. I like to give it a little shake to make sure all the kernels are getting coated okay after about a minute you want to take the lid off careful there could be some jumpers off and put it directly on your parchment lined baking sheet okay the next thing we want to look out for are any unpopped kernels you know you did a good job popping when there's less than five let's see and if you see any pieces that were on the verge of burning just toss them and in the trash because nobody wants burnt popcorn. Here's another one. That was three, four, four. All right, five. Okay, to our popcorn now we're gonna add about half a cup of peanuts and half a cup of almonds. I love this combination. It's classic and of course you can use any nuts that you prefer but I love the combination of these two. Make sure you get unsalted because we're going to add some salt in our caramel sauce. Set them aside, but have it nearby. Let's start our caramel sauce. But before we do, we have to talk about one thing. Don't burn your sauce. If you burn your caramel sauce, there's no turning back. And the only way you can burn it is if you turn the heat up too high. So start medium low, if anything on the low side. Then once you start to get it going, if you don't see any bubbling happening, you can turn it up a touch. But if you burn it, you got to start all over again, okay? So because this recipe is made with that corn syrup, we're going to be using baking soda and vinegar at the very end to make sure our caramel is light, fluffy, and crisp on our popcorn. Um, when we add it, it's gonna bubble up and that's fine. We're gonna stir quickly and then pour it on at the end. So let's start off by starting, um, setting that saucepan over medium low heat. To the saucepan, we're gonna add six tablespoons of butter and half a cup of brown sugar. 
Light brown, dark brown is even better for that deep molasses flavor for our caramel. It's very necessary. Do, don't replace the brown sugar with granulated sugar because it's not the same. There's no comparison. So go out to the store and get brown sugar if you don't have it. So in the beginning, make sure that your butter is fully melted and if you need to stir it to get it going, that's fine. Okay, so now that our butter is almost fully melted, I'm gonna add my vanilla extract. So delicious. And our salt. Okay, once everything is fully melted and it starts to dissolve, we're going to don't touch it, leave it alone, step aside. Make sure our heat is on low. You want slight bubble action, but we don't want it to boil. And we do not, I repeat, we do not want smoke to start coming from our caramel. Because once it starts to smoke, it's burning, and we gotta start over again. Okay, so five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes. We're going to add our baking soda and our vinegar as quickly as possible, give it a stir, and pour it on top of our popcorn all within 30 seconds. Ready? Here we go. Vinegar. Take it off the heat. Stir. And pour. It should bubble up. That's the whole point. And it helps our caramel sauce be nice and light and airy. Next, we're gonna toss it as soon as we can. Get everything nicely coated. It smells and just be very careful because the caramel sauce is extremely hot. Next we're going to pop this in the oven at 250 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes and in, in the middle of the oven. The point of this is to help it get to that hard crack caramel stage because we don't want a chewy caramel popcorn. We want nice and crunchy, right? I like to push everything to the middle so that everything touches. This way when the caramel melts again, everybody will be all together. Let's do it. Okay, our caramel corn is ready. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to leave it like this on the sheet pan so that when it hardens in about 20 to 30 minutes, it hardens in globs, which is what caramel popcorn is supposed to be. Nice thick chunks of popcorn stuck to almonds, stuck to peanuts, and should be easy to eat and big chunks. So if we let it cool like this, we can easily break it into chunks and it'll be much easier to eat and more fun to eat. Okay, now we're gonna add our caramel corn to any cute little festive bowl and you can see how the corn is sticking together in little chunks. It's exactly what we want. It smells so delicious. And there you have it, our deliciously buttery caramel corn made without corn syrup. If you wanna print out this full recipe, there's a link below in the description. Also make sure to like and subscribe so that you get more delicious, fun, party food recipes and snacks from me to you when I share them. Happy hosting, everybody. Do you hear how crunchy?